and they all apparently just want to give me- Oh! Hey there guys, we new here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Dude, shut up. You're not funny. You're not funny. Alright, so we flew back to where Monstro ugh, would normally be located. If he comes up and eats my ass, I'm gonna- Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't do this. Don't even think about it, you salty spittoon. Man, I thought you couldn't get back to Monstro. What kind of ganja was I smoking? Ugh. Okay, so I guess we gotta go to Agrabah. <laughs> Agrabah. And we gotta fly to uh, our next world. No spoilers. Hold your spoilers until the end of the video, kids. Oh man, I'm not even ready for this next world. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be all over the place, man. Alright. Oh! Well, now I'm at Monstro, so... Fuck you. <laughs> like, okay. Note to self, go the other way next time. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're shooting straight Tex. None of this bullshit we went through in the last episode. I found out the hard way of that you shouldn't upgrade too fast. We dug too deeply and greedily last time when it came to gummy ships. Now we learn our lesson. Get some of the higher end gummy pieces. Yeah. Here we are. Woo! Disembark to Atlantica. Uh, okay guys, prepare for landing. I would do a Donald voice, but you know. This all sound like, land where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic. We won't. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Donald's apparently Batman now. Sebastian? Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> no, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh what do you mean? They do seem a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh. Oh, I see. In that case, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, King Triton would not like this. Oh, don't worry. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time for you to learn how to swim properly. I could do a Sebastian voice if y'all want me to, but I seriously would not want to. <laughs> Practice swimming with Flounder. Try to tag him. <laughs> Alright, begin. And shut up. Alright, so... Uh, Jesus, man. Swimming in Atlantica. <laughs> Works... Well, we haven't really had a, a, a good demonstration of it yet, but... You know, circle and square to go up and down. Do what you gotta do. Swim to where you wanna swim. If you target something, you kinda swim directly at it. Uh, and when you target something and attacking it, you kind of uh, level yourself with it automatically, but... 
We'll see all that shit later. Flounder, you piece of shit. Oh, there he is. Jesus Christ, man. All right. Let's talk to Ariel. Wow, nice job. Yeah, thanks. Be sure to... Hey, you can't just leave us. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> you guys suck. Creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be headed for the palace too. We better head back right away. But well, what if we run into more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. And we will bypass on putting Ariel in our party. Mostly because she just, you know, she doesn't even know how to eat properly yet. And, well,. I think there's trinities here, but there might just be one. And if you remember what I said earlier, each world has one white trinity, so I think uh, we have a white trinity to deal with in this world, and we don't have the white trinity yet, so we can't even do that. This clam is clammed up. So clams kind of operate as your treasure chests in this world, uh, and you attack some of them to open them, but this one is pfft, is red, so you gotta cast fire. I said you gotta cast fire. I SAID YOU GOTTA CAST FIRE! And then swim into it without getting your dick clamped in it, and there you go. That's your treasure chest for this world, but if the clam is white, just attack it normally. And they do close again, so half the time you don't remember which ones you've opened. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the ass, but... That's between you guys and the Kingdom Hearts developers, alright? Obviously, we got 12 tech points for deflecting that son of a bitch. Uh, as I was saying, obviously, um, there are certain abilities that do not work underwater, such as your, your like your dodge roll, your guards, things like that. Um, but abilities like tech boost, and lucky strike, those do work underwater. So actually, if you really want to get like MLG with it. You can actually unequip any of the ones that don't work underwater, and actually equip ones that do. Uh, like, I could equip Leaf Bracer if I really wanted to, which I might actually do for the boss of this world, but just not right now. And same goes for Donald and Goofy. If they have something that they can't equip, uh, that they want to, but they can't use it underwater, then yeah. But I think for the most part, they can use most of their abilities underwater. Like, like Tornado, you would expect Goofy not to be able to use that underwater, but I think he pretty much still can. Like, I think he just fucking flew into the wall doing it, so... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's grab more treasures. Cottage. If there's enemies nearby, clams won't open up, so keep that in mind too. Just like how if there's enemies nearby, you can't open treasure chests. 
Oh, there we go. We also got our good old ghost from Monstro down here as well. Even more of a pain in the dick to fight now because we can't guard their stupid attack. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, that cave back there, the big slipstream cave, uh, back there, um, that's kind of a big sinkhole that will push you out into places where you don't want to go. So you gotta be planned, uh, well ahead where you want to go before you go in there. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. You only did one. Here. Hmm. All these guys are stopped. Here. And they all apparently just want to give me- Oh! Do cast cure on him. Oh, oh, I get what you're supposed to do there. Okay, I screwed that up. So you get the three mushroom guys who all do stop, and then you have the big guy, you do stop on him, and you see what kind of a combo you can rack up while he is frozen, and then you get tech points for each hit you got off on him while he was frozen. Pretty, uh, unique enemy design there, although annoying. <laughs> Leaves you your own devices to try to figure it out, but I mean, although there's nothing wrong with that. It's kind of hard to go enemy hunting around here because you never really know if you killed a pack fully because of all just the the thing of how an enemy could be above you, an enemy spawn could be below you, all sorts of things. Got a mithril shard. Always take that for synthesizing. Never know when we're gonna need it. And don't worry, these aren't the only two enemies we fight here. <laughs> I know it looks like that right now. Ooh, girls, match maxed HP for Sora. Hot shingles in your area. Anyway, doing my good old Sean Connery impression. Gets a good laugh every once in a while. Open, dude. Open, dudery. 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 I ought to shut up now. As usual. As usual, the good old Wii Neo shut up. <sighs> Where's another clam, man? I could have swore there was another one around here. This leads to Ariel's Grotto. Good place to catch a bite if you're in Disneyland. Right next to the Cove Bar. Big old box in the corner, I think that I think that's a shortcut that we just haven't discovered yet. Like a shortcut that opens up later when we have more stuff to do in the world. Man, someone tell this ghost to go away. Alright, can we examine it? It's stuck in the hole, how can it be pulled out? I don't know, but we'll do it eventually. Okay, maybe I was wrong about there being another clam somewhere. Oh well. Ooh, girl. New enemy. Let's see how much experience this asshole gives us. Fifteen! Good going, Donald. Didn't even get any hits off, man. Just fires him from across the room and kills him. Cobblage. I'll take it. 
lots of ghosts patrolling out here. You guys have got a real ghost problem down here under the sea, let me tell you. Mega Ether. Mega Ether. There it is, the White Trinity that I was talking about. Again, don't think we can do it yet. Or, pff, don't think. I know we can't do it yet, but... Um, I think that might be the only Trinity in the world. If that's the case, who knows, maybe we might swap Ariel in just to do a little bit of a... A little bit of a goo boo gaba, you know? Like that experience, yo. To the palace. Outside. <coughs> Behold, you sweep before the ruler of the seas, His Majesty King Triton. And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. Mm, they don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. You're the who we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Grotto. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Triton's mad. Apparently this keyhole is forbidden juju to talk about. Come on. But why, I wonder. I had a even 4,000 money right there. Did you see that? Unbelievable. Come to my grotto. I want to show you something. There it is, see? Yeah, I just told him about it. The code bar and all that. Holy Toledo! <laughs> Those things can do one of two things. They either... Uh, Jesus. They either die with giving you 20 experience, or they die and they split off into three of the tiny ones, which each give eight. So, it's kind of preferred that they do the split rather than you know, what they actually do. We got this dolphin swimming around here. He's not an enemy. Uh, he's actually... Kind of like a taxi service for getting around faster in this world. 
and he actually can lead you to some pretty cool shortcuts on some areas and unlock some treasures if you use him at the right times in the right places. But we'll be talking about that later. To Ariel's Grotto we go. Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I have collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said, oh, he treats me like a little girl. Might be because you are one. He never wants to let me do anything. <laughs> he just, he just doesn't understand. Yeah. Neither do I understand my daughter, Ariel, but, you know, she can't even fucking hold a spoon yet. Uh, there's some treasures in here. Yeah, you just gotta, like, hunt around for them. <laughs> kind of rub up against everything in here, and then if you see an open thing, that's how you know. I mean, they look like treasure chests, but they're hidden amongst everything else, so... It can be kind of confusing, like this one. Torn old page. That's another level for 100 acre wood right there. Which we'll promptly go and look at. Probably gonna be Winnie the Pooh touching our butts or something. A cobbledge. Yeah. And see, that's why you don't want to miss any of the treasure chests in this room, because right there, you could have missed out on an episode of 100 acre wood. And you would have done the rest of the world and been like, Where the where's the last torn page? You would have no idea where to find it. Except for, you know. There's this really big fish you can swim against the current, but he's scared of those weird things swimming around. So if we chase him away, I think he'll f I think big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. AKA the dolphin. I'm out. Mommy's little poopsies. out in the world. Back at it again with the white vans. Or with the blue fin, I guess. Um, I don't know where to go. It's like a secret passage back here. Hey. A um, few treasures in here. Give me a mega potion. A few treasures, I say, as I only find one. Good lord, man. Well, I th think we either go back in the Ariel's Grotto or we go to the throne room. I think we have to go back to the throne room. The order of operations for this world is very, very odd and not coherent. Like, it could be very confusing. Damn. Second chance and some max AP went off. That's actually pretty good. Getting both of those at the same time like that. Did I open this one? I don't think so. Oh, no elixir. Okay, um, Gooby. Second chance, keep one HP even after taking a critical hit. So, 
essentially that one that I was talking about where no matter how much damage you take, you retain 1 HP after Fatal Strike once. Now I could get rid of Charge, but Charge is actually pretty useful so I'll keep it. I don't know. I was going to say you could swap out Charge for uh, the one that makes them come back faster. Came all this way swimming like that? Oh, I'm so tired. Ariel's a princess of Atlantica, but she's always swimming off from the palace and doing as she pleases. That girl ought to behave more like a princess. Yeah. You would think. Okay, so we don't go to Triton's palace, which makes me wonder, where do you go? Maybe we do go back to Ariel's grotto. It seems kind of odd making you go out and you go back in. Or maybe we finally, finally grab the dolphin. But I don't know. That's a, no, well, actually, maybe, yeah. I think if we grab a hold of his ass, might be a good idea. Well, we can't do it with enemies nearby, man. Woo! See that critical hit at the end of that combo? That does a like a tremendous amount of damage. Well, maybe he only splits off into two of these guys. Well, that's no fun. That's less experience than <laughs> four to be exact. And I don't think there's anything you can do to influence how they die. It's just you know like a 50-50 almost some bit. Dude! Get some gnarly ass experience, shall we? Or at least try to. Stop. Did I get that clam? When I was originally in here? Maybe, maybe not. Alright, you son of a bitch. Nine. That ain't bad, but I wonder if you can cast stop again at the end of like your first combo and kind of accelerate it maybe. Why why do I keep going forward? I need the dolphin, man. still get the experience for the 20, so never mind, it is better if he splits. And that one's split in four, so... <sighs> I guess I suck even more than I thought when it comes to talking about this game. <laughs> that damn dolphin. Where is he? I want him to know how much I care about him. Don't spawn enemies. I'm gonna get real upset. There we go. Are you gonna, are you gonna take me somewhere? Or are you just gonna take me around this place? <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, so I was right. We do need to get the one in the other place. Because this isn't the only room he shows up in, so... Don't get your panties in a bunch if you're like, Leo, what the heck? Or, if you've played the game before, you know that I'm an idiot, so... I might be influencing your uh, decision on watching this or not. Oh boy, these guys. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why I'm yawning right now. You kids screaming. Apartment complex is blowing up or something. Crazy. Crazy Town, USA. That's where I live. I 
So, this is where the uh, vent thing spits you out. Kind of at the bottom of that first uh, room we are in. That big first room. I think, right? Ocean. Swim up. Yeah, here we back are. Here we back are, you heard me. Good experience. I like that. Like as long as enemy packs are giving me good experience, and I'm not gonna pass them up. You know. Where's that damn dolphin? I know he's around here somewhere. That son of a bitch. There he is. Quickly while there's no enemies. Damn it. Oh, you gotta spawn more enemies. Getting lots of frost and thunder gems. That's also really good. <coughs> if my, you know, voice wouldn't be hitting puberty right now. That's because my voice is like, my throat, man. It's so dry right now. Dude. Stop summoning them in and I'm seeing enemies when I, I'm trying to get on the damn dolphin. <sighs> Let's just wait here, shall we? Grab the bubbles and wait. That's what we're gonna do. There it comes. Alright. This should take us to where we need to go. He'll spit us out at the very back end of this like whirlpool tunnel thing that pushes you. I was talking about. Leads us to the sunken ship. Up on the sun, we go day out in the sun, they slave away. While we devoted full time to floating 